Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Auto, and today we're going to talk about cool old stuff that is really, really bitching. What does that mean? Does that mean we're going to talk about speakers? Yes, we will in a minute, but I want to talk to you about this watch. Somebody in another video said, hey, cool watch, what is it? It is a Panerai 1950 Divers watch. It's massive, chunky, it's got a helium relief, relief valve on it in case I ever go diving a thousand meters, which is ridiculous. But what's cool about this watch is the strap. This strap was on a ship that sunk in 1786 called the Meta Katarina. You can go look it up. And it was on its way to Denmark to another place. It was in a shipwreck and it sank. But because it was this Russian hide that was, that was specially treated reindeer, it has survived all of these years. So there were manufacturers that bought some of the hides and this one particular guy bought a sheet of uh, that hide, which is pretty expensive, and he made 100 watch straps out of it, and I happened to get one. We'll show you a picture of the inside because they're all serial numbered and stuff. You know what, I really love things that are just different and fun and that fire the imagination, and that's why I love Tannoy so much. Think about the imagination thing. So much of the music that you listen to was created on Tannoy's. Think about Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. I mean, think about so many recording studios. Look at. I don't want you to leave my YouTube channel, but if you get a chance, take a tour of Nelson Pass's listening room, and he says it. If he designs an amplifier, he cannot pass judgment on it until he hears it on his pair of tannoys. That's a big statement. People that are in the know understand what it's about. Tannoys, the oldest speaker company in the world, founded in 1926, and in 1947, they changed everything but by designing the dual concentric design, where you take the high frequency driver, mount it way back in the throat of the mid-range bass driver, and you use a very specially designed phase plug to play back music as if it is a mushroom cloud coming from a very small single point right here in the center. And there's a tremendous number of benefits to that. Uh, First off, the, the speaker is less affected by room boundaries. Second of all, they're super, super easy to place. Um, but not just that. There's a phase coherence. Manufacturers are always trying to deal with the problem of how do you make it where the ear doesn't think, I'm listening to a tweeter and I'm listening to a woofer. I want to be listening to one thing. And that's what you're doing here, and that's why tannoy freaks are just like people that are tube audio freaks. They just don't want to talk about anything else. I'm on my way to the factory where they, uh, uh, one of their factories, which is in Scotland, and I'm going to be meeting with those folks, and it's going to be so cool because while I'm there, I'm going to be meeting with the importers from Japan. And in Japan, and in Korea, and in Hong Kong, and in China, I mean, everybody aspires. I mean, it's kind of what you want to grow up to own, is a pair of tannoys, you know? And that's the thing. That's why they have an intrinsic value to them, and they are so loved by people. And so tannoy makes a really cool stand mount called the Eaton. And the Eaton is, you can go look at the video on it, it is absolutely unique. But not everybody can afford Eatons, and maybe they don't have the ability to fit a larger stand mount. Look. Stand mounts are cool because stand mounts can disappear in a way that a big floor standing speaker cannot disappear because they don't contend with the cabinet. So they can just go, where is the speaker at, right? But the downside is because you don't have cabinet and because oftentimes you have a very small cone, you can't move much air. And that means, number one, they don't play very loud. Number two, they're power suckers. Small speakers require more power than big speakers. Number three, they have limited bass response. There's, there's all kinds of mini monitors, and most of them are about 86 dB efficient, number one. Number two, they don't play very loud, and they have sucky bass response. This speaker does not. Now look, we got to be into reality. We got to understand we're dealing with physics, but I'm going to tell you something. I was over in the sound room with some employees, and I had these set up next to a pair of floor standers, and I asked them which speaker we were listening to. 
and they thought it must be the floor standing. This speaker is 89 dB efficient, so it requires half the power that most stand mounts do, uh, and it has real and usable bass. This is the Revolution XT6, and XT stands for extra technology. They re-engineered the phase plug. This new phase plug uh, is called the Taurus Ogive Waveguide, and it has a very radical new flare that gives you a much broader dispersion of high frequencies. So when you think of a tannoy dual concentric, don't you have to understand it's a complex part to manufacture. There's a lot of engineering, but you have to think of it as playing music back as if it's a mushroom cloud from a single itty bitty little point. And that's what really makes them unique. So six inch dual concentric, the cabinet, as you can see, has a narrow pitch in the back. And they did that to reduce standing waves within the cabinet. It's a badass, very, very well braced cabinet that comes available in a piano white, piano black, or a real dark walnut veneer, or uh, a real medium oak veneer. So it's really nicely done. They put the speaker, you're gonna notice you didn't see a base port. That's because they did something really cool. Sometimes people have to put speakers on shelves and the base just disappears because you end up having to put them up against a wall. Well, what they did is they didn't want to put the base port on the front because front base ports can be kind of ugly, number one. Number two, uh, sometimes not super effective. Number three, uh, they can chuff. So what they did is they put the base port on the bottom and they built a plinth into it. So this works really, really well for those people that have to put them onto a shelf or onto a cabinet. And then it looks really good if you set them on some stands. They're really, really, really super, to play, super easy to place. And I gotta tell you something, this speaker can rock and roll, but what I love about it most, which is what I always love about Tannoys, is the mid-range purity. The ability to get that, boom, that chestiness of a male vocalist. You know, you've heard me talk about some of my favorites. I like crooners. I like Johnny Cash. I like, uh, you know, Jim Morrison, and this speaker does an exceptional, exceptional job with that. And for God's sakes, they're just a little bit more than $1,000 a pair. I mean, and look at the finish. Look at the, uh, the, the, the aluminum trim ring, and look at the fact that they even inscribed tannoy into the attaching bolts on the front. This company has always been into detail and making products that are special, that will last for decades and decades. That's why if you go look at old Tannoy stuff on the web, go to eBay, you're gonna see Tannoy dual concentric drivers just for the part. They can sell for $8,000 for a pair of old drivers, you know, because people cherish them so much. You know, right behind me is a pair of Canterbury's. I mean, God, who wouldn't love to own a pair of those? They're so musical, they have an intrinsic value that is difficult to communicate to people until you own them. So look, we're opening up dealers across the country, of course, you've got local dealers. If you're a dealer and you wanna know more about Tannoy, you can reach out to us, uh, You know, contact my sales staff here. We're happy to help if you're a customer, you can come in and we'll play these for you. I will do a level matched AB comparison between this and LS35A clones that cost two and three times as much and I, it will blow your mind how much better the speaker is. Tannoy XT6, Go to our website, contact us. I wanna make sure you folks are really happy and I want you to know that we're gonna treat your system like it's ours. Thanks.